Hello, welcome back everybody to Same Spirit Gaming. This is Rusty. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> this is Jordan. And I'm Val. I mean, <laughs> I'm Matt. <laughs> I thought I threw you off with the <laughs> intro a little too much. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're, we're playing a Knight's Quest. Oh, whoa, you can grind on this? I did not know that. That's I was actually, honestly wondering about that. <laughs> that is way the faster. Episode. Oh, man, I'm definitely doing that. It's, I think it's way faster. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we got the mustache. We got the manly mustache. <laughs> we're going back to see the bouncer and hopefully go into the snowy... City. That was awesome. That was legit. Now I want grinding rails all over. Sorry, this is not a Sonic game. <laughs> no. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be running a lot faster. Man, in Sonic Frontiers, you just go so fast <laughs> through the areas. <laughs> yep. That was a fun game. All right. Let us know if you'd like one of us to play Sonic Frontiers yeah. on the channel here. Yeah. It would take quite a while, though, if we were <laughs> going to do a full, like, series on it. Yeah. And I, I thought about one thing. I hope we don't get... Uh, oh, he has the mask on. <laughs> Wait, I don't see a mustache, though. <clears throat> it's just... Generic. Oh, kinda... uh, hey, yeah. It doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> Continuity error? <laughs> Hold on. I, uh... Such a manly mustache. Have fun. Oh, uh, <laughs> right, thanks. But yeah, I, the only worry I have with doing Sonic Frontiers is the music. I would hope we wouldn't get copyright struck for the music. But I guess yeah. other people have played it, so... Yeah, okay. and I mean, like, I've done some live streams with it, and none of those have gotten any copyright stuff against them. Okay. Wow, this is a cool area. <coughs> hey there, welcome to the Frosted Tip. Only the coolest adventures get in here, which isn't a pun, despite what some people may tell you. It's just a fact, bro. Okay. As you're, like, shivering cold. Yeah, <laughs> definitely is the coolest place. Fortunately, this is not like, uh, you know, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom where that can, like, hurt you being too cold. I assume there's music playing. <laughs> that we it are not sure hearing. looks like there is. <laughs> we are not hearing the music right now, so I hope it's awesome. Uh, I can see you standing there staring at me. What do you want? Uh, ask... Ask about the cold springs. <laughs> the cold springs? Who told you about that place? That's my private getaway, in addition to my private pagoda and this club, which I also own. <laughs> what business do you have there? It's It says her name, so I'm going to read it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a little bit of A frozen hammer? Crazy Ivan is the holder of the hammer. He was my former paramour. He's tough even for a spirit knight. It is why I gave it to him. My heart, I mean. The hammer was just a formality. Ever since that purple crystal appeared in the sky, I knew it was only a matter of time before someone came here looking for Ivan. I see from your weapons that you've already beaten the other two spirit knights. Quite impressive. The first guy was already defeated when I got there, and I was given the second weapon willingly. Saying it out loud doesn't sound very impressive. I guess you had to be there. Did you know we guardians once wielded these weapons with our own hands? Twas a glorious age! But I would give to feel the rush of battle again, to crush my enemies with my mighty hammer. But alas, that time has passed, and we selected champions to serve in our stead. I had selected Ivan to serve as my champion for his combat prowess. Wielded by Ivan and the other spirit knights, the divine weapons are responsible for more death than the last several plagues. And now they are possessed by you. I know, pretty awe-inspiring, right? 
If you want to find the hammer and iron, you'll find them somewhere in my private cold springs. Normally I charge 5,000 gold to enter, but in this case I'll make an exception because I want you to deliver a message for me. <laughs> sure thing. Tell Ivan that I, Glacia, Empress of Ice, hereby order him to fight you to the death. The winner will then rid the cold springs of the evil monsters that dwell inside, such as people not on the guest list. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know she would talk so much. <laughs> Whoever wins will be crowned the Spirit Knight and the wielder of all three divine weapons. <laughs> for a moment I thought you said, to the death. Fine, I'll write it down for you in case you forget. Show this to the bouncer at the Cold Springs and he'll let you in. Got one immaculate eyes, dude. <laughs> immaculate oh, eyes. I'm glad that is over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I would have given that character the same kind of voice. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be a short conversation. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm a DJ too now. Oh, there's a slime back there. Awesome. I like how I'm still wearing the mask too. <laughs> yeah, because you're not welcome without the manly mustache. Yeah, true. This guy doesn't have any of that stuff either. No mustache, no scar, no eye patch. So how did he get in? Um, so I guess the Cold Springs was outside of here? I don't remember seeing another bouncer, I don't think. Wait, Unless it's okay. like a totally different subsection of like the broader. Yeah. That's area. This is I don't a, know. Okay, maybe this is it. Because this is not where it came from. I'll just walk through. <clears throat> What's up here? More ice. Even more ice. Big drum. This looks like a place where you'd fight somebody to the death. I'm yes. just saying. That's <laughs> true. All right, I'm preparing mentally. Hello, sir. What's up, bro? Nothing, Doug. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a rail. Oh, okay, this is just extra. No! <laughs> I don't think there's anything up there. Okay, I'll leave. I'm out of here, bro. I really wish I knew what those keys were for. Yeah. There's a lot about this game that I just, we haven't figured out yet. <laughs> well, while we figure out where to go next. Yeah. Maybe time for the verse of the day? Yes, sounds good. Although I'm not quite sure how to go about bringing this one in because so originally I was going to just like connect this to the last episode where we mentioned the you know Jesus talking about the greatest commandment <coughs> when you're loving you know God with all your heart soul strength and loving your neighbor as yourself and yeah. like the original context of that command yeah, that sounds good. But also, like, the chapter that it comes from, literally the subsection is just titled Various Laws. Oh. That don't really seem to have a whole lot of connection to each other. <laughs> but maybe, I guess, that kind of, like, brings it together a little bit under a... Yeah. somewhat of a theme. Yeah, uh, you've piqued my interest. <laughs> um... Do to do to do. I'm actually trying to. So the 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 part that Jesus quoted from, and thus later on Paul quoted Jesus, but <laughs> uh, it comes from Leviticus 19, verse 18. Um, and 
I guess I'll just read that verse specifically to kind of like give a broader overview of things. Okay. Um, so that verse specifically says, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people. Love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Awesome. So that's all that that verse says. Yeah. But in and around that, you've got other verses that say, I mean, some of them are more simple things like, don't steal, don't lie, um, do not pervert justice or show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great, but judge your neighbor fairly. So there's just a bunch of like, kind of seemingly almost random just commands and laws yeah. in this chapter. But if you think about all of them, they can all kind of fit under the category of loving your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's interesting. I see. So like there's a lot of there's a lot of the Old Testament that people will just gloss over because they're just like, oh, this is boring. So many rules. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of them, like this section, can actually have some overarching themes that if you really look into it it like kind of spans you know the yeah it kind of makes it make more sense why that would be included in the broader context of the bible yeah if you love your neighbor you're not going to steal from them or covet their wife or <laughs> yeah kill them <laughs> and a lot of these also serve as just kind of good practical advice. Yeah. My dad had uh, says an interesting kind of, I wouldn't call it a theory, but like he just says that a, a lot of the Ten Commandments and all these rules and stuff, it's actually more for you. It's for you to live a good life. It's not really for God because, uh, you know, you're saved by God's grace and faith. And so the Ten Commandments are really just for you to live a good life yourself. Oh, I did that again. That's the second time. <laughs> yeah. But I like that. Like, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Whoa, hold on there, bro. This place is, like, totally off limits for everyone. It's Glacia's private relaxation spot. I think the Third Warrior is even in there. Unless, of course, you had permission from Glacia, like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, some sort of immaculate ice from her. Well, do you have such an item? Yes, I do. Oh, is that immaculate ice? Thanks, this is exactly what I needed today. Got this real long shift, you see, underpaid, stood in the cold, want that little extra bit of cold to really bring things together. Go right on in, don't let me keep you. Yeah, I like how he's facing the <laughs> opposite direction that whole time. <laughs> okay. I think we're, we're yeah. gonna have a fight and... Let's see what happens after the loading. Whoa, another, this, see this is what I mean? All this aesthetic, this whole place is really cool. <laughs> At least I like it. Um, okay, is this one of those? Oh. Almost so cool that it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting healed by this. Sweet. Hey. Hey, stop splashing hey, that's Ivan. You're ruining my vibe. Are you Ivan? Who wants to know? Glacia told me to deliver this message. I, Glacia, Empress of Ice, hereby order him to fight you to the death. Whoever wins shall be crowned the Spirit Knight. Whoa, that's heavy. I mean, you seem like a really nice dude, so it sucks that I have to kill you. But I totally left my frozen hammer somewhere in the cold springs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if you want to like go and get it and bring it to me, I can totally like beat you to death with it if you want. Up to you, just let me know, okay? <laughs> Hope you find the frozen hammer, brah. Just one thing you should know. The cold springs has been overrun with monsters. You'll have to clear them out before we can fight. They seem to be guarding something deep inside the cold springs, but you'd probably need the frozen hammer to deal with it. Need anything else? No. I knew there had to be a catch. <laughs> and another one. 
these. I'm just going to touch it in case. All right. We're good. I think that's it. I thought there was something in the last episode that made it seem like those were finally going to work. I or Maybe that's just me. No, I, f I focused on them, but I, I never figured it out. Man, this guy's making us do his dirty work. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I can't use it here. Hmm. Okay. Can I get it from here? Nope, it's just out of reach. Dang. You can't, like, jump and use it, can you? No. Hmm. Okay, well, while I figure this out, that was a perfect time. We never actually read it right, I was just making sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I read the one verse that was actually kind of, you know, okay. crossing over from last episode. Um, I do have a little section here that I found interesting because I just, like, I saw it in the midst of all this. And I decided to kind of sort of, I don't know if fact checking it is quite the best way to put it, but <laughs> I decided to research it a little bit more uh, just to show that some of this stuff is actually like legitimate practical advice. Yeah. So I'm going to read the verses and then let you know about the quote unquote research I did. Okay. Sounds good. So... This is totally unrelated to, like, the whole... Well, maybe not totally unrelated, but... It's not as directly related to, like, loving your neighbor and that kind of thing. Okay. But it's in that same chapter, in amongst all those commands and stuff. Alright. So, if you look at, uh... Verse 23 through 25 of that chapter, it gives some instructions slash advice regarding like planting trees and stuff oh that's interesting <laughs> yeah I, again just a seemingly random assortment of commands and stuff in this chapter <laughs> but this winds up being actually helpful useful advice yeah and i'll get to that after i read the verses okay so so this is so we're clear. Leviticus 19, starting in verse 23. Unless you want to... So he asked if I had any... this whole Shrewington dialogue thing here. <laughs> oh, buddy, you have no idea. I'm in such a bad place, man. I'm so heckin' hungry. You gotta help me. Oh, that was it. He asked for some kind of berry that I don't have. Okay. That was it. So, anyway, okay. Leviticus 19, verse 23. When you enter the land and plant any kind of fruit tree, regard its fruit as forbidden. For three years you are to consider it forbidden. It must not be eaten. In the fourth year, all its fruit will be holy, an offering of praise to the Lord. But in the fifth year, you may eat its fruit. In this way, your harvest will be increased. I am the Lord your God. So... <laughs> I did a little research on this. Nice. But also, I assume when it says when you enter the land, that's like referring to when they go into the promised land. Yeah. Because yeah. this was a bit before that. But um, I did a little research on this. I'm like, okay. How long until most fruit trees actually start bearing fruit or like good fruit? Yeah. And li literally my search was how long until fruit trees bear fruit <laughs> and the results that I get it, it actually broke down a couple of different kinds of trees with their various fruit okay I get this uh, sour or tart cherries three to five years wow Plum. <laughs> plums three to five years apples and pears four to Four to five or six years. Apples are four to five, pears are four to six. <laughs> so, scientifically, yeah. there is evidence and reason to follow 
these commands that God gave the people here <laughs> in Leviticus. That's pretty incredible, honestly. <laughs> you give it at least three years, but it, it, it says in the fourth year that the fruit is supposed to be an offering to the Lord. So even then it's saying, okay, don't eat it. Yeah. First fruits. That's, I think that's a very common theme in the Bible. You always yeah. give first fruits to God. But in this case, that also like makes sure that pretty much whatever kind of fruit tree that it is, yeah, that you've covered the amount of time until the fruit is actually okay to eat. That's actually really crazy. I have never heard that before. I love it. So these are not all just like completely random arbitrary laws yeah. that God was giving his people. Like, there's helpful stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I love it. That's awesome. And I think in the midst of reading all those laws, a lot of us can just start thinking, like, this is so boring. And, like, <laughs> why does God have to give all these laws to his people? Like, yeah. they're not just laws that he was giving to his people. Right. They're practical advice for life. They're help He's helping them. Well, and the same thing with, uh, you know, pork and shellfish and all that. Um, if you don't cook shellfish immediately and when it's hot enough, you will get sick and possibly die. Pork is also and was a very dirty animal, which it's literally, that's literally how it's described in the Bible as unclean. That's because it had a lot of parasites and a lot of diseases that we've actually um, mostly eliminated by now and also just we cook it really well but back then it was not easy and so a lot of people got sick eating yeah. pork so and our food in this day and age also goes through other processes generally speaking yeah like it really like you're saying it really was advice hey buddy I'm super hungry got any giggleberries sure take it thank you okay. delicious oh yeah nine, okay he can that filled me up nice. Come on, buddy. Feel free to hop on my head and I'll give you a bounce. Yeah, I forgot they can do that now. Cool. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Right off the bat, skeleton dudes. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. This really feels like a dungeon. Like a real dungeon. <laughs> the other ones, it was kind of like... I don't know, outside. Oh, jeez. It's a little bit harder. Like, when it freezes you, it almost makes you look more like you're turning to stone. Yeah. Is that just me? <laughs> no, it does. I'm going to get rid of this big guy first. Okay. Close. I was about to say, so much for uh, getting rid of the big guy first. I know, yeah. Well, everyone... Sometimes the flow of battle just works that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. I love the ragdoll effect in this game. It looks so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I want this peaky melon, so I will get rid of this. I think that, yeah, okay, that heals my max health. I was using it earlier trying to heal my actual health and that's not what it does. Okay, how do I get up? Four peaky melons, yay. yay. I should have used the bandages thing because they would take longer. <laughs> what is this? There was a potion inside, but you can't fit it. Okay, I'm gonna actually use one. I need it. I want to increase my. Carry it. <laughs> I want to increase my inventory size, but. I don't yeah. Wow. There's got to be something else to do in here. 
You have to, like, get yourself up higher to be able to ignite that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's a rail. But how do I... to bounce it, I guess. Bounce. Nope. Hmm. I can't jump and use it. That is annoying. Seems almost like it would work on the way down, but... <laughs> yeah. I can put this out. But I don't know if that helps. Huh. Let me know if you see something. I mean, if you see something, say something. I think I well, okay. Put these out. Yeah, I was just just wondering if you could put those ones out over here to then maybe possibly do more stuff with that. I don't know. I don't know if I can make the jump, but I'll try. <laughs> Yeah, I can make it. Okay. This looks right. It's an interesting mechanic. Like, you have to put out the torches. Oh, man. There we go. Treasure! Oh, that's not what I needed. A healing bandage. Maybe that's a bandage that actually serves both functions, where it'll, uh, like, that would get nice. max health and regular health. Yeah. Okay, so now I can do this. I guess it's just a shortcut. Yeah. Two doors. All right. I feel like we're making progress. Pretty soon we're gonna have to press pause on that progress, though, I think. Yeah, but now I need to find a save point. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to speed run this. Get the monsters. <laughs> There's the hammer, yes! Okay. Go through all sorts of different rooms, and hopefully eventually you'll get a save point <laughs> in one of those rooms. Okay, so obviously I can't... Can I jump? Let me try. No. Oh, I can't jump at all. Um, wow, this is going to take a while. So I probably have to go around somehow. Yeah. Probably make use of those stairs. And these... Th oh, that'll probably be with the ice hammer. Uh-huh. Don't need to kill those guys. This okay. platforms are moving. <laughs> oh man, that was close. <laughs> it also looked like it was about to flip over. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess you're supposed to go in the middle. Whoa, and... that was scary. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a little weird. Made it. Good. Harder, faster, stronger, better. Alright, this is looking good. What's that do? <laughs> uh... <laughs> What did that do? Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> panned over to those guys. I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh, there was a lever there. Don't know. No, why? <laughs> Just ragdolled. <laughs> Couldn't do anything. Should I try to jump over there? I, don't know. Ah, I, I should be yeah, able to. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. But I didn't see a door or anything. Like, you should be able to... Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that later. 
Okay, just checking. That was my fault, 100%. <laughs> it's a good thing it doesn't, like, it's not very punishing until you die, but. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, what are we doing now? That just brought me back to here. Can't really go that way. No. And that's just where we were. Hmm. Maybe go around the other side then. I. Because in that in the room with the hammer, there were. Oh man. To okay. set the steps, right? Uh. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back there. Yeah. Okay. Uh. This is big brain time. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here though. What the heck? No. Yeah. It's weird. Odd. Uh... Is there another way to go? Like another branch off of? <laughs> so I seem. I don't know. I seem to remember some other doors. Yeah, okay, I'll have to go back more. Oh man, I have to do this again. Alright. We might need to finish this next time because we are going way over time. <clears throat> well, we were also looking for a save point. Yeah. Whoa! Hopefully, uh, I mean, we could end it here and just hope that, you know, we're not leaving the viewers missing too much. <laughs> well, I can probably go out and back in. Although, I'm trying to think of what we actually need to save. I guess the fighting those guys, that was needed to be saved. All right, let's so see if I can... Oh, you know what? That's That was the other door, right here. Because I went... There was two different ways. Oh, it's just a chest. With money, probably. Iron ore. All right, let me go back. All right. Well, if you're going backwards to get to a save point, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, viewers will not be missing anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can go in there. Because now there's no water, so... Yeah, let me, uh... That's what we'll have to do. We'll have to go in that area, if I remember. <laughs> I guess there was quite a bit to save because... All this stuff, talking to the guy. Let me get healed. Brah. Yay yeah. for healing. <laughs> I wish you could just save in this game, though. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, that would make it so much better. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, Join us next time where I bet we will be fighting Ivan, who is currently in his bathtub. But I or think... at the very least, we'll get the hammer. Yeah. With this game, it wouldn't surprise me if we just get the hammer and, like, just kind of walk away with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. Uh, whoa, that looked weird. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.